Hi, Frank. Hey, Krisha. What's up? Look at you advertising. Oh, yeah. That's the ticket. I definitely didn't buy this at work because I was really cold one day and did not have a jacket. I think it's ironic that we uh, try to sell our own merchandise, which is lovely. Yes. With this beautiful logo from Jody Collins. Krishanfrank.com. And um, there's some... Oh, I, well, I, I'll get to another time. I tried to connect our Teespring site to the website. There's a mm-hmm. new thing you can do. Ooh. You have to get into the DNS and the behind the scenes, and it was a little it's more a advanced. Lot. than. But, but Teespring now has a way. Ooh. They've changed something. That's good. Thanks, but Teespring. Anyway, um, I have purchased shirts for all of the Rocket Brothers. Mm-hmm. I have purchased a sweatshirt for my wife. Mm-hmm. I bought you. Some pants. Some pants. I have yet to buy myself anything other than this Same. mug. Same. Same. Like, so when I see that you got the Hatfield McCoy, I'm thinking well, I should get a Christian and Frank. I, I got a sweet, sweet discount. and um, well, We also give ourselves a sweet, sweet discount we do, when we buy our own we merch. Do. But, um, but honestly, this I bought this out of necessity, and it's chilly today. Well, we've had dogwood winter, mm-hmm. so I, I hope it's over by the time we post this episode. But yeah. on the day that we're recording, it's uh, dogwood winter. It's cold. Which is apparently a thing. I thought it was ridiculous when I first moved here. Mm-hmm. Dogwood winter. <laughs> but now here I am spouting it off on the radio. Like, well, I guess stand by everybody. We got some dogwood winter coming up. <laughs> it's a real thing. So it you... means that it gets cold like winter after the dogwoods have blossomed. Which means today, when we're recording this, a rainy, cool day is not a day to work in your yard. Because no. you've been doing that a lot lately. You've well, been replanting like figs. A lot of free time. And... Do you have free time? I've had this plenty. I've, been, I've had uh, workers at the house. Mm-hmm. I've had uh, roofers and gutter men. Mm-hmm. And, and gutter men. Gu- yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you call it. That is fascinating, the way they do gutters. Yeah. Did you know how they do gutters? No. They, they have a trailer or a machine in the back of their trailer. And this giant ro- uh, roll mm-hmm. of, I guess it's aluminum. And they feed it into the thing. And on the the gut, your gutter comes out on the other end. They make it. Oh, it folds it. Yes. They, oh. So that way they make it to the custom length. They go up there and they measure it. That's awesome. And then they churn out you your know, gutter on hit the spot on location. That to makes be the so much exact sense. Exact length. And it never occurred to me that that's how they would do it. Well, but because it I've makes seen so other people sense. buy cheaper gutters, and you could see that the truck shows up with all the gutters on. Right. It. And the, I I guess I went with the the higher end gutters because gutter man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> said to me, he says, you know, I like this job. And I'm like, what do you mean? He says, well, a lot of times we're just slapping gutters on for people who are trying to sell their house. Mm-hmm. But this is your forever home. And you're never going to... And these gutters oh, he are going to last longer than you. You're going to die before these gutters need to be replaced. I said, yep. That's, I said, that's what I'm counting on. That's, that's a... Terrible reality. <laughs> well, I mean, I bought a 50-year roof, um, and I'm not going to make it. You might. I, highly unlikely. Not if, if you see, If you, in the 50 years from now, see that the world's oldest person dies, and it's me, then you'll know I've made it. Yeah. Because I would be the world's oldest person. And you need a new roof. <laughs> person. <laughs> Died because his roof finally wore out. Yep, his roof finally wore out. <laughs> in the year, what would 50 years from now be? In the year 2071. 2071. He died because his roof gave way. I hope I'm alive in 2071. Well, you've got a chance. Right? How old? Um, my granny. Fifty in, years from now, you'd be ninety. Right. My granny's 94, 95, yeah. actually. Okay, so you've got a shot at yeah. it. Yeah. I do not. Uh, and um, so anyway, the guy, gutter guy said that. The roof people said that. You know, this roof's going to outlast you. His gutters are going to outlast you. And I'm glad because I finally, finally bought the the stuff that goes on the top, so you don't have to clean. Oh, the I love that. The yeah, those are smart. That was the whole problem before. Is the previous gutters. They got clogged yeah. with roofing material mm-hmm. that washed off the roof, hence the replacement roof, mm-hmm. hence the replacement gutters, hence the replacement fascia board, hence everything. Hence the new bathroom ceiling. Oh, that was an accident. Though. <laughs> that was an accident. I'm just glad that you weren't yeah. on the pooper when it happened. Like, No, I was laying in bed t- trying to take a nap, and I, and I hear this crunching noise, and I go and I... And you're like, I hear outside. <laughs> I see hands through the ceiling trying to pull it back. I'm like, oh, like, no. Oh, God. <laughs> but they were, um, the roofing guy, the, the owner of the company himself, mm-hmm. came over to inspect the job and make sure he did what he called the, the shadow test. He's up there checking the drywall. Mm-hmm. He, he subcontracted out right. to his best drywall guy. Cool. And he's like, that's why I hired this guy. He does the best work. 
<laughs> and he was very pleased. Yeah. So uh, you can't even tell. They they match the paint. That's awesome. They uh, it's all done. Nice. So that that's I'm glad about that. But I've been um, and in order to do that, I had to we had to put some money aside, figure out a way, mm-hmm. refinance this, that, and the other thing. Right, right, right. Blah, blah, blah. So to get the roof in the gutters. Right. Well, in the course of all these these financial maneuvers, do you remember the episode? Where I told you that um, I had scraped together all of the coins that in the house. Yes, and you were trying to decide: Are you going to roll them? Are you? You weren't going to take them to Coinstar. Like I you didn't want to do any of those things. I just, I mean, I could. I used to work in a bank, mm-hmm. and there's something about having worked in a bank that makes you never want to roll coins again. Right. I understand. <laughs> I get that. And especially when you're well aware that they have machines, accurate coin counting machines. All you got to do is you dump them in, and it irritates me that my bank charges for that service. Right, that's a load because, like, that's like going to the Coinstar machine. It takes your money for, yeah. to give you money. And I'm irritated by the Coinstar machine because mm-hmm. it takes a percentage. Yeah. So, for example, I mean, I won't get to that in a second. Actually, mm-hmm. so I, I heard that my bank had temporarily waived the coin counting fee. Ooh, because they need coin. Because of the COVID, there was a coin shortage, and I've got. And it, you got coins. I don't mean to throw Jerry the Brave under the bus, but she generally is the one who keeps throwing the coins in some bag, mm-hmm. co- jar. Oh, I mean, the bottom of my purse, I probably have $6 in change. Well, that's good. You yeah. Move it through. And I'll tell you, when you, at the end of the story, I'm, I'm, you probably will today go move it through. Because uh-huh. um, it turned out, I think, pretty well. Uh-huh. Anyway, I round up all these coins. I put them in Ziploc bags, and they are heavy. And I'm like, oh, wow. I used to be the guy who n- always spent his coins. I would keep them in my little um, coin pocket here in mm-hmm. my jeans. And when I would buy anything. You're the only person in the world that actually uses a coin pocket. Oh. Yeah. Well, when I would buy anything, it, I would get take out all my change and mm-hmm. spend it first before I get to the paper money. Cool. Because I didn't want to have the coins. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I don't, why, I don't need them. Right. Get them back in circulation. Don't want them. Uh, well, things change. You use credit cards, mm-hmm. debit cards. Gift cards. You know, dollar bills. You end up with coins, and that's what everyone has done. You've got coins in your house. So now you got to get rid of them. The bank stopped waving the fee, and I'm upset about it. I went to the bank, and I said, I'd like to bring in my coins. It's like, no, we can stop that. Time ran out. We did it for a couple of months. Ugh. And I'm mad at that because all you're doing, this is what you're doing. Is you're taking my money, dumping it into a machine, and then whatever number it says on the end, you're, you're going to credit that number me that money. <laughs> to my account. Right. I don't even need the cash back. I could deposit it. Right. And then I, then I could spend it you're with my You're making card. a deposit, which they don't charge you to make a deposit if you take them cash money. But if it's count coins, they will. So I'm upset about that. Yeah. So I go. I start... Banks are so, the table. So weeks go by. Mm-hmm. And I one day decide i got to get rid of these coins because I have all this free time. And I start Googling it and <laughs> researching it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, I thought, you know, here's a day I, I can, I'm going to be out and about. Right. I can run some errands. You're researching it. Yeah. It was actually one of the Scholars Bowl days. I thought, I've oh, I got all afternoon for free after mm-hmm. Scholars Bowl. Mm-hmm. I'll go, I'll go uh, do some things, run yeah. some errands. Maybe I'll go get double stars at Starbucks. Ooh. And you get to the drive through and say, sorry, we closed at one o'clock today. I'm like, today's double star day. You can't, how do you, you can't close early on double star so day. I didn't get my stars. But uh-huh. I did go to the bank. Uh-huh. And, um. And I, well, I went to the bank to cash it to try to deposit one of our checks. Oh, cool. From Audible? Yeah. They made it out to Krisha and Frank show. Yes. And unless I can find a woman named Krisha show, I, <laughs> yeah. they think it's a married couple. I'm like, no, no. No, yeah, it looks like it's a married couple whose last name is show. I'm like, I'm like no. <sighs> Krisha and Frank show. Well, I, I went to multiple banks, so I found someone who knew me. Of course. <laughs> and of course. I'm like, well... We'll just deposit it. We'll put a hold on it. That's thirty dollars. I don't right. care. It's, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Put a hold on it as long as you want. It'll be so the checks good. You go to the bank, and then I'm, and they won't take the money. They won't take the coins. They tell me no. We stop. Mm-hmm. We w- stop waving the fee. I'm like, all right. So then I have Plan B. I said, well, I guess I read this on the internet. I don't know if I can trust it. I'm going to go to the grocery store. Right over there, mm-hmm. same neighborhood, and I'm going to put the money in the coin star because it says on the website mm-hmm. that you can, when you put your money in the coin star, it'll give you a voucher mm-hmm. that you can then take and use as cash right. at the store. But they take like a twenty percent, fifteen yeah. or twenty percent commission, mm-hmm. 
And I thought that was high. It's very high. But I didn't want to do it. But they also said, or here's a new option at Coinstar. And this is not an ad for Coinstar, but I, mm -hmm. the option was you can choose one of these fabulous retailers and get a gift card in the full amount of your coins. Ooh, you know I know how, how much you like a gift card. Because you know how at grocery stores and a Sam's Club and places, they sell gift cards at a discount. Yes. So that's Coinstar is keeping it. That's what they're doing is Coinstar is getting awesome. their profit by giving me a gift card for the full value of my coins. I look at that. I know how much you love a gift card. So I've learned I your have ways. $145 to spend at Applebee's. No. <laughs> or chilies. No, that's one of those are some of the options. Eating look, good in the neighborhood. You look at these and you go, are you kidding me? I mean, you know, you can't go wrong with an Applebee's. Well, I chose Amazon.com. That's pretty smart. Because I thought, and I was so nervous about it that I put the, I, I didn't know how much money I had, but mm -hmm. I was dumping in coin after coin after coin. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what I forgot to bring are the rejected coins. Oh, yeah. They're over there. I had uh, an, a 10 Italian lira. Oh, Rejected coins is what my band name. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. I have lira mm -hmm. from Italy. I don't know how we got it. I've got some Irish uh, euros, mm -hmm. the little penny euros. That I remember. I know how we got that. And it also rejected a 1945 or 40, 39 U.S. dime. Oh, okay. That was odd. And there some pennies that were so crusty mm -hmm. you didn't recognize them. Right. But still, we got $145 Woo! in coins. And now I've got uh, this little, it spits out a... $145 Amazon thing with a warning. This is heat thermal paper. These numbers are going to fade very quickly. Be, do not put, do this, this, and this. That would have scared me. It did scare me. So what I did is I whipped out my phone, mm -hmm. opened up Amazon.com, and as soon as that thing came out of the machine, yeah. I, like, <laughs> I hit the scan button, and <laughs> that money was in my Amazon account before the coin machine was cool, stopped making noise. <laughs> <laughs> and but I want to know what you've done no. with it, but we should talk about Middleburg Barn. All right. Before you... That's right. Do you, show you're tell. so excited with your show and tell. I am very excited. He's so excited. My ultimate death is It right looks like me. you have a gun behind me. It's possible. Um, but Middleburg Barn, themiddleburgbarn.com, oh, an yeah. event space. You can get married there. You could... Are you... What? What? <laughs> is that what you're talking about? Huh? What did you talk about? Who's getting married? Nobody. Oh, somebody. I said you could get married there. I was talking to the people. Thank you. You should get married at Middleburg Barn. Yeah. It's a lovely destination wedding. It's I'm not beautiful. getting married yet. They got rustic um, luxury. <laughs> my brain just exploded. I know. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I had a little fun with that. Uh, they're just outside Washington, D.C. in Hunt Country. I mean... In Loudoun County, Virginia. It's beautiful. It's near the Blue Ridge I'm sorry. Mountains. I'm sorry. You say what? When you have a destination wedding, you don't have to invite anybody. No, you That's don't. That's the beautiful part of it. When you, you can actually, you can invite everybody and they all say no. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, if you wanted to, I don't know, run away and get married without anybody knowing, this would be the place to go. Although it's huge. It's, uh, you can fit um, up to 400 people in there. Mm -hmm. Not Most people don't. Most people put in... You know, whatever. But it's a very large it's venue. Absolutely gorgeous. With the Swarovski crystal chandeliers. Yes, and the natural light flowing from full-length windows and doors. Oh, 35 foot ceilings mm. <gasps> with the fancy ultraviolet HVAC system. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, the MiddleburgBarn.com and the phone number you can call Marine. Yes, area code five four zero, which is how you know it's Virginia. Mm -hmm. Six eight seven five two five five. And uh, look for the swans. Say hi front. to the swans. That's Fred and Ginger. <laughs> and all the other uh, creatures and the stable boys. Mm -hmm. I imagine if you really paid a little extra, you probably could have the stable boys create some kind of dramatic archway. Do you think they could? They would carry me in If you pay, as well, the bride? Well, it would cost money. Yeah. Right. But I mean, like, they could, like, set me on their shoulders and carry me into my own wedding. They probably would say, why don't we just get a horse for that? Because I want the stable boys to carry me. But if, you, if we got what's called a litter is what that thing is called. Mm -hmm. That the, the Cleopatra type thing. Oh yeah, da da da. Yeah, that's called a litter, which mm -hmm. is an odd word for it. But you we could rent one of those. That'd be cool. And you could sit up there and we can have like they'd be like your pallbearers except you're still alive. Right. But and if you're would, getting married so you're just as dead. <laughs> the litter bearers. <laughs> and they bring in. And by the way, Maureen bought a mug. Maureen, thank that's you. That's her dog, uh Bridget the Basset Hound that we showed some on the show eating the I mean eating uh, <laughs> drinking, drinking out, of the, out mug. of the mug. Okay. Show and tell me. All right. $145 so, so in coins on an Amazon gift card. So I've got that. Now I've got the credit on the Amazon. And I'm start shopping for things that I might need. Amazon is a dangerous, dangerous very thing. Very bad. And 
I have plenty of things on my wish list,、mm-hmm. most of which are luxuries,、yes. not necessities. There's, Correct. You know, I mean, maybe microphone poofs is what、mm-hmm. you know,、mm-hmm. which I already、mm-hmm. bought,、um, or other、uh, like you know.、Uh, Right, I keep two separate wish lists. Books most... that I might read, but also in reality, I, I know I'm never going to read them. You're definitely not. So I should probably just delete them. Yeah. But I went shopping on on there, and I thought I'm going to buy this. And this is why you're going to die before your roof.、Does. Well, I made the mistake of saying, as the as the man, the UPS man handed it to me.、Mm-hmm. He hands it to me like this, and I say, "Oh, good. Let's see if I can seriously injure myself." And then I and thought it, it looks like a rifle box. It does. So what I'm going to do is turn around. Oh god! All right, get ready to get rid of the box. Okay. Because I reveal to you. Oh, you know what I forgot to get? This is. I might have to ask you. What did well, I do with it? And and is it behind you? Oh, it's you? behind me. Yeah. <gasps> oh. See this? <laughs> it looks like a weed whacker, right? It does. All right, but that—that's nothing. That little blitz, nothing. That's、this、just that's、neat. just for cutting some grass. Uh huh. Wait <gasps> until I install. Oh, shnikes! The circular saw. Frank, you're gonna die. Yeah. I I what is special、ooh. saw blade? It's very right Japanese. A, a Chinese, but Chinese. Um, yeah. Look at this. This is deadly. This scares me、It's、for、shit. you. That's what I got. I, but look at the weeds. I have things that have to、it's、get. It's got little people on it. Oh, oh! You know why? This one's wearing a mask. A mask. This one's wearing earphones. Uh huh. This one's wearing eye protection. Glasses. This one's wearing gloves. It's so you pick which one. You, you pick gonna... which one you want. You can、right. either be the glasses guy, or you can be the face mask Choose guy. Choose your avatar. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I don't. Let's see I if should the have. I can get it. Yeah. So that's exciting, huh? So you can choose the way in which you will die, and then you'll put this on here, Frank. What、Frank. else do I have back here? This also, is. Look at you. Wait, that's、this. not that's not enough. Look at these saw blades.、Ah! Yeah. So what? Are, what like what? What、these、is your plan? What's your plan, Stan? My plan is to is to cut things. Oh, that's sharp. I know. I bought. That's what I bought. I didn't buy、that's、a brightening. Weed, I didn't buy a weed whacker. I bought a brush cutter. I. This is. This does is Jerry fa- know about this? This is my favorite part. Warranty card. This, it's like it's nothing. It, yeah,、right. Jerry looked at it. She said, "You know, the instructions just stop." It says here, "Installation of blade. The, the slot, slot used, used to, to fix, fix the blade. blade on the top of the lawn mower. Insert the blade into the slot. Align the screw hole and turn into the slot. Screw, screw can. can." The instructions just stop. You're. They don't, I'm. I'm they, scared for you. They ran. Obviously, they ran these through Google Translate and did、yeah. a, a very poor job of.、Um, You know, adjustable she, she retractable approves, twist. You can't use this when you're home alone. That's the only time I think I can use it. She doesn't want to see that. No. What, what if you need assistance? Do you have the emergency thing set up on your phone to call me? No. Okay. Usually, I leave the phone up on the deck while I'm out working in the yard. Nikes. Oh God, neighbor Nancy. Will、She's、you got- be like safety patrol? Well, actually, I did think about、uh, involving neighbor Nancy in this because I thought, you know, what would be nice is I could offer. She's got、um, pair an electric pair of lomping shears,、uh-huh. and I thought, you know, I can offer to go over and 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 attack some of her stumps or、um, heavier weeds. Yeah, if she can help me lomp some things on my side of the line. This this scares me though. Like, I'm very excited about it.、Uh, yeah, you're like a kid in a candy store. But、with knives, with sharp things. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Well, I do. I do want video whenever you. Well, how am I gonna run video? You're not、hands. allowed to use it by yourself. There's gonna be. Two, this is a two-hander job. You know. Well. <laughs> Can you tell? I mean, I, this I inst- you install this side handle. It comes、right. separately. And then, what、well, you do is you have to hold this button and, and do this. And the battery's not in it right now, so it won't fire. Right, but I could put the battery on. No, it no it's、like. fine. It's, yeah, it's, a, it's a little bit、oh, of a charge. Jeez, on the battery. The, I think. Excuse、um, me. I need to fully charge it. I think you just take that and jam it in oh, there. Oh man, this is. And then I think what you do is I think you push this. Ah! I, I am not. What? I'm just. I. I'm worried for you. I'm worried for you. That looks really cool, though. Yeah, you want to try it? Yeah. You press. You hold this button in, and then you pull the trigger. Yeah, yeah. Come on. 
And that's just a grass cutting blade. That's just a plastic blade. I mean, it would cut your finger. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that We nice? should get some grass. <laughs> I've got to still have some Easter grass that needs to be put away. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, lose our mind. We blast Easter grass all over the dang living room. Yeah. Mm, ah. So was not that good? That's, that's a great... I mean, that's I hope a great it works. purchase. It's so cheap, though. I mean, I mean, it seems... You know what I mean, though? I know it's $145. Right, but what I'm saying... But all the comparable ones are like $300. Right. Well, what I say to you is, and this is why this is slightly frightening, is one, the instructions on how to install the super terrifying blade aren't complete, yeah. and they're translated poorly. Very Secondly, poorly. Secondly, um, you're like, no, nah, but it's, you know, I don't know how... What, you, you're going to be out there. Yeah. You're going to install that blade. You're going to fire it up, and it's going to shing. It's going to throwing star across the damn lawn. Orange <laughs> cat, no more. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I saw orange cat recently. He's still alive. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. I'm glad I don't have a cat. Yeah, the hawks are getting uh, very active. Ew. I love the hawks. I think hawks are great. There's at least two out there because I've seen them talking to each other. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of this purchase. It still terrifies me, but... Well, I'll let you make the video. How about that? I, yeah, okay. I'll, we'll go out there and I'll... We I'm can not... make a whole episode. <laughs> no, just a, Frank just a little bit. Frank and his throwing star launcher. We'll just go out there and I'll try to cut something. And, okay. and there's a lot of those weeds that we had cut back. And like yeah. Steve and his tree service cut back that are now growing back. You can't do it today, though. It's rainy. No, no, but I'll do it another day. Okay. All right. We got to get out of here. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being are here. Are you excited? I, In fact, I, the day that I post this episode, I'll probably be out there attempting that. So check the news. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't think it would be on the news? Oh, it would be on the news. Lifestar has to rescue old man from his bone backyard? <laughs> that might be on the news. Yeah. Name withheld. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, I don't even know who Frank Murphy is. Okay. See you soon. Uh, go to audibletrial.com slash Christian and Frank. So you can listen to sounds much more pleasant than the sound of that whirring blade. Yee. Although if that did put you to sleep, I'll bet you they have it. Yee. I think you can find some kind of lulling noise Yee. to help you sleep. But on Amazon, on Amazon owns Audible. They have all the things, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. They have all the different books and comedy and original programming. AudibleTrial.com slash Krishna and Frank. We will see you Monday. You know, should Wednesday? I put a link to my thing in the so yeah. if you want to buy one? Affiliate we, affiliate marketing. Let's do affiliate it. Affiliate marketing with Audible and Amazon. So yeah. I could put the if you want to buy one of those $145 thingamajigs. Yeah. And you and Frank can like meet up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. V -v. Actually it was like 138, but it was with tax. Right. And then that Shipping. one had two batteries. And there was one that was more expensive that only had one battery. So huh. I think I got the better deal. I think so. How about that? All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Yeah.